Wagner and visiting Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim have agreed to further enhance the defense and security ties between their countries as they tackled the South China Sea issue. The Malaysian Prime Minister suggested using a multilateral approach on the West Philippine Sea issue to achieve an amicable resolution. We did discuss the South China Sea issue and I shared President Marcos Jr.'s uh, concern that due to the complexity and sensitivity of the issue, we should try and engage and take the position uh, at the multilateral level between ASEAN so that we have a comprehensive approach and achieve uh, an amicable resolution to this outstanding problem. Both the Philippines and Malaysia are claimants to the contested territories in the South China Sea. President Marcos Jr. said the two countries recognize the importance of peace and security in the region. As immediate neighbors, the Philippines and Malaysia recognize the importance of maintaining peace and security in our region. As such, we agreed to continue our cooperation on political, political and security matters. The Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, failed anew to put up a code of conduct for the South China Sea with Beijing during its summit in Cambodia in November last year. ASEAN and China have been negotiating for a binding COC in the past few years to manage tensions amid competing claims in the resource-rich South China Sea. Nel Maribuho, UNTV News and Rescue, we serve the people, we give glory to God.